this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up, this is DC Channel Guns, coming at you with another video, people. I appreciate you for coming to the channel and stuff like that. Um, appreciate the ones who have subscribed to the channel, share the videos. I appreciate the likes, appreciate all the comments, people. Thank y'all for the good comments and stuff like that. Thank you for the ones that's fighting for the Second Amendment and stuff. We got a long fight ahead, like I've always been saying. Um, also, I got another channel, DC Channel TV. Go over there, subscribe, check that out. Um, there's a link below. You can go over and subscribe over there. Check it out. People got a lot of people going to subscribe over there and stuff like that. Um, it's go over there. I talk about two-way businesses and stuff, the stocks and stuff. Invest in them. I did one with Smith and Weston. Go check that out. Um, you know, if you want to invest in your two-way business, because guess what? Um, with the Supreme Court ruling and everything, guess what? Gun makers are making money. Sales about to pick up. You know, because people, you know, want to protect themselves and stuff. So check that out. And Smith & Weston did something awesome for their shareholders and stuff like that. So check that out and everything. So with that said, people, you already know what time it is. We're going to talk about your ammo. So you already know what time. Ammo, ammo, ammo time, people. It's ammo time. Ammo is new gold. Everybody's trying to get it. Now, I say that every video. Everybody's trying to get it. And it's a true statement. A lot of people don't take that, they're taking words in context. Now, the reason why I say everybody's trying to get it, so now you have a report. That your government agency been stockpiling ammunition. We know that. But some of these agencies are surprising a whole bunch of people right now. Because a lot of people didn't believe that some of these agents been buying stockpiling ammunition and stuff like that. Now, I come up here every single day and I'm telling people to buy ammo, be prepared and stuff. Because of state laws and all these regulation stuff that's going on is making it harder for you to get it and everything. Because I want you to be prepared. Now, price of ammunition is going up. Everybody talked about that. Everybody knows that. Some ammunition is cheaper. Where you, depends on where you stay at and stuff like that. I'm talking about that's going to happen. All ammo is not going to be created equal, equal across this land in the country and stuff like that. Some people are going to pay more. Some people are going to pay less. But at the end of the day, I said get it because you never know what's going to happen in the news. Now, when it comes to your price of ammunition, I see a lot of comments for a long time. Long time, people, I've been seeing comments. If Webb, you just start buying it, the price will go down. It's not going to go down, people, if people just start buying it. Because for one, a lot of people look at that one single context of just, if people just start buying it, the price will go down. Now, for one, I've been saying this for a long time. I'm going to cover this real quick because a lot of people uh, probably haven't heard or don't know nothing about it. A lot of people don't cover it. It's flying on the radar. For one, Inflation has been going up in this country. Now it's at 8.6%. We're dealing with that right now when it comes to the economy, inflation. Feds can't seem to get that under control. They're doing everything they possibly can. Now, we have taxes in this country that is going up. And then we have, uh, when it comes to your ammo manufacturers and stuff, they stand in, they're standing, they're factories, they're in states that are penalizing them because they're ammunition companies, because of some of the stuff and crime and stuff that is going on in these states and everything. I'm talking about there's so much going on. I'm talking about you have, um, you know, people who's buying ammunition have another tax on top of the tax and ammunition that they're paying in their state because of the crime and stuff that is going on. Another thing, you have raw material in this country that's been bought up by other countries, people. Other countries are buying it and then reselling it back to us at a higher price. I can't figure that out to save my life. I cover that a lot. And China and all these other countries have been selling it back to us. Russia and all these, they've been selling it back to us. They've been buying up our raw material land. So the manufacturers got to pay that cost, people, to produce these things. Everything that your ammo needs, your firearm needs, they have to have the materials to keep that producing. Plus, they got to scale up, pay employees, keep up to date technology and stuff like that. So you got to think about that. There's more to it, people, than just saying, oh, stop buying and all this kind of stuff when it comes to anything. Now, to get back to what I want to talk about is that we're finding out now some agencies that people are really shocked about. I'm not shocked because I covered this two, over three, about three years ago. Didn't get a whole lot of headline and stuff. But the IRS been stockpiling ammunition. Now, you know, when it comes to the IRS, the federal, um, you know, government agencies and stuff out here, you know that they have security guards and stuff and everything that carries firearms and stuff. You go to some of these federal agent builders and stuff, they're armed. They got, they got police there. You know, you go to the Social Security Administration, they got a police officer there. You know, I'm talking about, why you think they got a police officer there? You know, with the things that's going on, people get upset, you know, they money or something, whatever happened. So they got to, you know, have these buildings armed. And so the IRS the same way. They got to have, 
you know, their buildings armed and stuff. And then when you're going out, you will want to pretty much, you know, talk about people taxes or collect tax or go up to some of these people who owe taxes and stuff like that. Guess what? They're armed. So they've been purchasing a lot of ammunition for a long time. I went back to 2017, but it's before then. They've been buying it for decades, people. So the IRS right now, for what I've been looking at, has been spending over $700,000 between March and June 1st stockpiling ammunition. Now, a lot of people, to my, you know, that's kind of bizarre. The IRS and stuff is buying ammunition and stuff. But what we just talked about is the reason why they're buying ammunition and everything. But like I said before, when we look at just the civilians, the public buying ammunition, we don't look at all the military contracts, federal government agency contracts. We don't look at none of that. Most people don't look at that type of stuff. They just look at one thing. So it's a lot when it comes to your ammo, people. That's why I keep trying to tell you. So right now, the IRS has been stockpiling ammunition and buying a lot, spending millions in weapons, people. Millions. Buying the, you know, and we're not talking about just little, just average weapons. We're talking about sophisticated weapons and stuff. So you think about that. You take that into context and stuff for what I've been looking at. Now, uh, right now, uh, so for reporting stockpiling heavy weapons much as past two decades. So the IRS has been stockpiling, um, uh, they said heavy weapons for much as two decades and have spent more than $10 million on guns and ammunition, military style equipment since 2004. Now, the IRS spent $2.3 million in 2011 on heavy weapon before dropping to $1.1 million in 2014. It's a heavy weapon now. I'm talking about the IRS, what, you know, they need heavy weapons and stuff? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm talking about, I, I don't know what they're doing, but, you know, there's a lot of conspiracies and a lot of things out there people are talking about when it comes to your federal government agents. I don't know if they're spreading all this buying through agencies or whatever to try to dry up the ammunition um, out here. Uh, to my, I, I, I looked at a lot of boards and message boys. So much stuff out there. I don't want to even get into that, people. But we're going to just try to keep it legit over here. But like I said before, if your agencies are buying firearms, ammunition and stuff, trying to be prepared, um, a lot of police agencies and stuff I've been covering, they've been buying it because guess what? They're trying to get ahead of the prices that's going up. And so if you want to save money as a police agency or I guess in the federal government agency and stuff, they like to do budget cuts and stuff like that. If they keep buying it, they buy it more now and have more for storage. That's less they're going to have to buy in the future and more money that they're going to save it. Now, one thing that is, has not been talked about. That's another thing behind the federal government agency that I want to talk about. And I can get into all the other stuff while they're buying it. But guess what? One thing that a lot of these police agencies and federal government agencies and stuff been doing is they are buying ammunition now. They're trying to buy as much as they possibly can. So guess what? In the future, when the prices go up, they don't need to buy as much and they save money. Now, that's something I want to hit for all those out there saying, well, I'm wasting my money because I'm buying ammunition prices. They're too high now. Take this into context. Take this with a grain of salt, people. I've been buying Walmart ammunition for a long time. A lot of y'all have. Um, ammunition places that was dirt cheap. I used to buy it from one ammo shop where they sell it to you. You scoop it in. The, it's in a bulk bag. You scoop it up and he wear it and sell it. And I was getting it dirt cheap. I cannot get no prices no more now. And I got tons of ammunition that I have saved a lot of money that I don't have to buy in desperate need. When the pandemic came, everybody seen the writing on the wall. Everybody standing in long lines, 20, 30 minutes, hours, two hours, hundreds and hundreds of people. And they, they and, and paying all kinds of money just to get one box. Then they limit you and all this kind of stuff. This is why I say get ahead and buy your ammunition. When I say buy ammunition, people, it's not to stoke fear or none of that. It's to get you prepared so you won't end up like that again. And a lot of you that was in the pandemic and stuff, when it came, you can't get your farm, you've been delayed three, four, five, six months. Crime don't wait for you to get your firearm, people. Crime happen every single day, every single second. And you need your ammunition. To practice keep up your skill level and stuff because they are ammunition people guess what firearm shooting is a perishable skill just like any other sports if you don't practice enough guess what you don't get no better so you got to constantly keep practicing and keep your skill level and stuff up so if you stop shooting for three four months you're gonna know when you go back out there to the range trust me a lot of people been surprised about that but Firearm shooting is a perishable skill. You need your ammunition to practice and stuff. That's what the agencies need because guess what? I've been reading reports, small reports when it comes to IRS. The reason why they need ammunition because they need the agency to be proficient in shooting and stuff like that. 
because guess what? There are some reports that uh, none of them could shoot. Then you end up hitting innocent bystanders, causing damage, property damage, stuff like that, and you and they're getting sued and stuff. Same thing with your police department. They've been buying ammunition, so their police officers can stay trained up and stuff like that. So, like I said, shooting is a perishable skill. If you don't practice, guess what? You won't get no better and stuff. So, just people buying firearms and stuff and and then, you know, during the pandemic, put it in a little box or whatever, put it up. And then when they need to use it, they're going to pull it out and, you know, think they're going to have all these great skills, people. Guess what? I'm talking about if it ain't an arm length of a situation that you need it and you have to do a whole lot of aiming or whatever case, man, adrenaline situation, you're going to find out why you need to practice when it comes to firearms and stuff, people. So most of these shootings is not right, right up on you and stuff like that. Most of these shootings, you're within 21 feet. And this other person got a knife, two by four, or whatever the case may be, you, you need to have some skills so you can uh, defectively shoot the target and, 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 and stop someone, stop some type of threat, whatever the case may be. So with that said, people, just want to report with the IRS stockpiling ammunition and stuff. I will be looking more into it to bring you some more news and notice. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.